Emma Roberts is the niece of Julia Roberts, and on July 7th, she got arrested in Montreal for domestic violence against her boyfriend, Evan Peters. Now, uh, when authorities showed up to the scene, they said that his nose was bleeding, and there were also reports that he had a bite mark on him, although her friends are denying that. Uh, and the police report indicates that someone within the hotel, or, or a third party, I should say, reported this to the police, and that's why they showed up on the, to the scene. Now, she was... Uh, under custody for a short period of time and then authorities let her go. It turns out that Evan Peters is not planning on filing any charges against her. But then um, a f about a week after that incident occurred, she was seen in public with bruises all over her legs. And now people are questioning that and wondering whether it was you know, mutual domestic violence and they were basically getting into a fight together. All right, let, let me ask a controversial question of the guys. If, if a guy calls in a domestic violence call, which he didn't in this case, it was someone else in the hotel who did it, um, do you think any less of him? Keep it real, keep it real. And it, maybe you really, you don't. Um, keeping it real, yes. You keeping do? Keeping it real, yeah. Wow. Sorry. Sorry, okay, JR, thoughts? Less of him, no, because I don't think he's less of him. Like, I guess, quote, man. I just, I think maybe he could have done something else. Again, I'm not blaming. It's, it's, it's such a hard line to tell because you never know the situation, how people really think, and what kind of abuse is it? Mm -hmm. Is it emotional abuse? I mean, men can be emotionally abused, right? Oh, you can't call that it. No, I'll draw the line right there and I won't have any questions. There is definitely <laughs> emotional abuse. Like, let's say a married couple, there's a married couple, they're divorcing, and a woman purposely. Uh, prevents her husband from seeing the children. That's emotional abuse. No, no, no. So that There's exists. There's definitely emotional abuse uh -huh. and probably plenty of it. Exactly. You just can't call it into 911. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, she's emotionally abusing me. I mean, I don't know what to say to you, bro. Right? So, so now, you think less of a man if he's getting um, beaten by his wife and he calls 911. I, I guess no. it means the kind of beating. Like if she sneaks up behind you with a weapon. That's she can mess you up pretty well, good. Oh yeah, right? and I mean look, if she and, but you're thinking like a guy can generally just he can get away from the situation if she's physically with hands yeah. trying to beat it you. It depends on if there's weapons. Yeah. Now look, so your so your wife or your girlfriend comes up and starts stabbing you. What are you gonna do, right? Go nine one one nine one one, right? Et cetera, et cetera. And there's a lot, and there could be a size disparity. Keep it real. And I, I'm not trying to blame guys. It's not their fault. They're the ones who are getting assaulted, right? And even if it's just with hands. Uh, I, I think that there's a reality and maybe having this conversation is a part of getting beyond it, right? Where guys automatically think like, and, and it's a gut reaction I had and you know, honestly that, that we all had, but we need to get beyond where we're like, well you're not, you gotta be able to check that yourself, right? And yeah, it's but but you know what? If you go to check it yourself, you're probably going to cause more damage. Of course, and I feel like I feel like the angle that we're focusing on is not the most constructive angle because obviously there's some issue with domestic violence in the country, and no one's really talking about what we can do to help fix it or at least solve it to some extent. I mean, a few years ago you had the notorious Chris Brown Rihanna situation, and now you have another celebrity couple that's obviously going through some sort of physical altercation that they shouldn't be going through. So instead of having conversations about like, oh, did Rihanna deserve it? Are men wimps or pussies if they get beaten up by their girlfriends? We should have a discussion about why all of a sudden it's acceptable for people to beat each other up like this and it becomes public and we focus on other things. No, no, well first of all no one thinks it's acceptable, yeah. okay, or no decent person thinks it's acceptable. Uh, and second of all, the reason to have this conversation is so that people can go back and go, wait, why do I think less of him? That doesn't seem quite right, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and hash that out. And, uh, and in this case, don't get me wrong, when, you, when I say check uh, her yourself doesn't mean you go attack her. That's a terrible, terrible idea, right? But you know, our gut instinct. I feel like, as a man, that I want to be able to get control of that situation without having to call for backup, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I think it's a normal reaction to have. I don't think it makes you a monster or like a terrible person. On the other hand, you're not supposed to judge other people. You don't know their situation, and you don't know what happened there. So, I, I don't want to judge, and at the same time. I want to be cognizant of what people are feeling and, and, and get beyond it. So what do you think? Do you think that he should press charges or he should just let it go? Well, like, it I mean, we so don't... depends on the circumstances, right? right? 
Like if your girlfriend, I don't know, she's pulling your hair or whatever's happening, I'm not gonna press charges on that, right? In some cases, the hair pulling is acceptable. Yeah, well, it depends on what you're into, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh, not I'm, to make a very un PC joke, right. it's a very serious story. I apologize. <laughs> and and I'm and I'm a really big guy. Like for a woman to be able to do significant damage to me, could it happen? It could happen, right? And under which case, I mean if I'm dating like a e former East German body lifter and she snaps my arm in two, yeah, I'm gonna press charges, right? But I would be surprised, mm -hmm. right? And that's just but if you're a smaller guy and you're going out with a, a larger woman and she does some serious damage to you, why shouldn't you press charges? Now a statement was released by uh, a publicist and it says, it was an unfortunate incident and misunderstanding. Miss Roberts was released after questioning and the couple are working together to move past it. So who knows what's gonna happen in the future, but I just wanna know, like, I don't wanna keep seeing Chris Brown and Rihanna situations play out the way that they did. You know what I mean? I, like, hitting people, assaulting people, all of that is very serious, and I think that people should take it seriously, and there should be consequences for it. I mean, Chris Brown totally got away with it. JR called it at the time, he was totally right. Everyone forgot about it and moved on. In fact, at the time that the story broke, people were blaming Rihanna for getting beaten up. And now, double that for Evan Peters, Yeah. right? So he gets assaulted, and then now there's a lot of people online talking about like, oh, I got beat up by a girl, huh? right? That ain't right, you know.